Welcome back everyone, Tina here. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you that now users can set their own password when enrolling into your online courses via a magic link. We've also added new email templates to the mix. So let me show you how it all looks like and how it all works. All right, let's say you have enrolled a new student into your office. This can be either manually via the contacts tab, you go into the contact and then enroll them via the drop-down menu under offers or it's been all automated. They purchased a product from you and that gets all triggered by workflows. And I will show you that in a minute. Once they're enrolled, either way, the student receives an email, which looks like this. So you can always check the communications under the contacts tab and then selecting the student or looking at it from a student perspective, it looks like that. So this is our new template with introductions on the details on the course, for example. Then it provides first time login instructions to the client. Who can they reach out to when they need more support? Then the email address from your location will automatically be pulled. Some more information on the next steps and as well as reminders, okay? So now here, the difference is the system doesn't send out passwords anymore. The user can now create their own password. So they just click on login. And since the user logs in the first time, they have to set their new password. So let's set a new password, re-enter the new password, then hit set password. And now the user is being redirected automatically to the course they have purchased from you. Please note, if you have added password custom fields prior to any form, that is outdated from now on. So if you have created password custom fields somewhere before in any of the templates and any of the emails, please go ahead and remove those now. Now let's say we have forgotten our password, even though we set it ourselves, happens sometimes, right? We just click on forgot password here. Then the user typically enters their email address and then click on send me new password link. And then an email has been sent to reset the password. And here it is. It looks just like that. Okay, please keep in mind this link expires after two hours. So if the user doesn't go into their email straight away or within the next two hours, it has expired and they have to do it again and request a new reset password link. So then they have two options. They either click on this link or on this button to reset the password. Then they follow the same steps. They enter a new password, hit set password, and then they're being forwarded again to the course, which they've just purchased prior. Now let's say you want to create your own workflow. Let's say the trigger is, hey, this customer wants to start the lesson. Then you can add an email. Okay. You can click into the body of the email. You can click custom values. You can go to courses and here you can see lesson started. That shows up because the trigger is lesson started, right? And here you can see everything that's possible under lesson started. So here you can see a new custom value login URL magic link. So you want to select that and here you have the magic link inside the body of that email. If your trigger would be offer access granted, for example, offer access granted, let's assume that would be our trigger. We could go ahead and send an email again, click on email, go down, select the custom values, go to course. And here you can see now offer access granted shows up. That didn't show up before because we didn't set the trigger before, right? So click on the arrow. And here you can see again, login URL. Okay. So you want to select that so that email can be triggered once the system recognizes, okay, this person has been granted access to this particular course. Last but not least, let's say your trigger is category started. So type category in the search bar, select category started or completed up to you, right? So let's say started for now. Then again, let's send an email, scroll down into custom values, into course. And here you can see the new option shows up, category started. Click on the arrow and here you can see all of the other options which you have to insert into the email body. And again, here's the login URL, the magic link. And that's it already. I hope you like this new feature, which will help your students to remember their passwords. I will see you in the next video.